when it comes to practicing law of attraction money relationships and health these are the three most commonly set goals or these are the three most common manifestations that people are trying to make true in their life and especially with regards to money i don't think of anybody who's ever going to say i don't want more money or more wealth in my life if money is such a common goal for people who are trying to use manifestation if money is such a common end goal for people who are using law of attraction why is manifesting money so difficult in today's episode i'm going to tell you about five aspects which you should reflect on in your own life which will help you understand why your thought process your behavior your understanding of the concept of law of attraction is making it difficult for you to manifest wealth in your own life using law of attraction hello and welcome to episode number 34 of manifest with paycheck to profit a weekly podcast which helps you decode the concept of law of attraction manifestations different tools of manifestations your mindset to manifest more wealth into your life manifest with paycheck to profit is a part of paycheck to profit a community built for millennials and gen z which helps you change your relationship with money build a more robust relationship with money uh, eliminate your money blocks identify and eliminate your money blocks one at a time use law of attraction to manifest more wealth into your life and live a financially sound financially zen life let's get started without wasting too much time and let me tell you about the five steps but i just realized i did not introduce myself hello i am manish auja india's first money mindset and financial literacy coach and i am the founder of paycheck to profit the first reason why people find it so difficult to manifest wealth using law of attraction despite putting an extra effort is because the thought process is negative in people's mind to begin with imagine a ship that is trying to sail out of a port but the for some reason the technicians the captain and the crew and the entire team of the ship has forgotten to lift up the anchors the anchors are still pull down and the ship is trying to move from the shore the ship is going to end up using a lot of fuel the ship is going to use a lot of energy but the movement of the ship out of the shore is going to be bare minimum now that is what your negative mindset is doing to you with regards to your manifestations with regards to money if you are trying to manifest wealth but if your mindset with regards to money is negative if your mindset is full of money blocks those money blocks are holding on to you like an anchor and even if you're putting an extra effort the only thing that you're losing out is more energy you're losing out faith in the system but you're not being able to manifest equivalent amount of rewards with regards to these uh, with, with regards to the energy that you're putting in identify these money blocks break free of these money blocks lift up these anchors out of your ship and see how wealth starts accumulating in your life identify these money blocks because that's one really big aspect which can completely change the direction of your manifestations the second thing that is holding you back is the lack of clarity of end goal imagine this you're going out on a vacation and it's a sudden plan because it's a sudden plan you don't know whether you're going to take a beach vacation or are you going to the mountains you decide you know what i have some miles uh, air miles to anyway use what i'll do is i'll end up paying them more money but i'll pack a bag where i am prepared for a beach or a mountain i'll, I'll decide at the end moment okay you end up starting to pack now do you pack for a 3 day vacation or a 7 day vacation or a 10 day vacation now imagine the nightmare you decide that i'm going to take, carry two large bags and i'm going to fill both the bags for 10 days of vacation so even if i end up going to the beach i have 10 days worth of uh baggage and if i'm going to the mountain i have 10 days worth of luggage perfect as preposterous as it sounds you still go ahead and you still don't know after you've left your house where are you going to go you reach the airport and you decide now that there is no option but to buy a ticket i'll buy a ticket you end up making a random decision you will be surprised to realize how many people are living such random lives when it comes to the financial goals they don't know what is the financial freedom number they don't know a clear path of their financial goals they don't know why is it important for them to achieve the goals that they are trying to pursue work really hard towards they have very little clarity and a lot of confusion clear the confusion clear the 
cloudiness, clear the fog and you will realize that manifestation becomes so much more easier. Many a times this, this lack of clarity is also a byproduct of money blocks. Money blocks really are the reason, they are the biggest enemy of law of attraction, let me tell you this very frankly. But let me introduce you to your best friend, your financial best friend, which is Profit Clan. Profit Clan is an e online email community of Paycheck to Profit where you get updates on the upcoming podcast episodes, upcoming YouTube videos, upcoming masterclasses, upcoming uh, Instagram lives that I'm doing, any freebies that I'm giving out, or if I'm launching some sort of a new program, everything to do with Paycheck to Profit gets delivered to your email address for free. You can also choose to become a part of the community of Paycheck to Profit by uh, connecting to the WhatsApp group. You'll find all the links to Profit Clan or the WhatsApp group in the show notes or the description below the like button. Please do not forget to become a part of the Paycheck to Profit community. The Profit Clan is absolutely incomplete without you. It'll take you just a couple of minutes and it's absolutely free. You have nothing to lose. Please become part of the Profit Clan. Moving on, the third reason why people despite putting in so much effort and energy to fail to manifest or find it extremely difficult to manifest money in their life using law of attraction is because their belief in the whole process of manifestation is a little skewed and they believe that the process is supposed to be difficult. The kind of ecosystem that we are living in, the kind of examples that we see in media, hard work is glorified to a completely new level. Of course, hard work is necessary, but hard work towards achieving new goals, better goals, moving forward in life is very important. Doing the exact same thing, which probably uh, uh, doing a lot of work, which could rather be divided amongst four team members and everybody working in a relaxed manner without stress or getting softwares which can help do your work faster or investing in some sort of a mechanism or a machine or some sort of a training that can help you increase your productivity. There are so many ways that in which you can actually perform better and save yourself, your personal finance, your company, a lot of money, but people end up wanting to work really hard, which works absolutely against their progress and against their manifestation goals. Manifestation is supposed to be effortless. Manifestation is supposed to be fun. Manifestation is supposed to be a systematic process. Don't make it complicated. Don't make it difficult. Don't think about it as difficult just because your goals are unclear or you just have an intuition that you know what, if it is supposed to be manifested, manifested and if it is important to you, it has to be a complicated or a difficult process. It is not supposed to be difficult. Let me liberate you from that thought process. It's not supposed to be difficult. The fourth thing, the fourth reason why people find it difficult to manifest money despite putting in more effort is because they don't believe that they actually deserve what they're trying to manifest. Now, this is a very, very, very big and most common problem that I see among many people who are trying to manifest. You want a big house. Why do you want a big house? Because you want a big house. Okay, what sort of a big house are you looking at? 10,000 square feet. Why? Just because I want to live a luxurious life. Okay, where do you want this house to be? Doesn't matter. Lack of clarity. And when I actually sit across and I ask you, do you really think you deserve a 10,000 square feet house? Do you really think you're working as hard to unlock the life and the lifestyle that you're trying to imagine? You're trying to compare yourself to a celebrity. You're trying to compare yourself to the CEO of your company. You're trying to compare yourself to a cricketer or a, a rock star. You want that sort of a lifestyle, but do you actually want to also live the kind of life that they are living? Do you actually have it in you to put in the number of hours that they are putting in to the work, to the kind of uh, media pressure that they have, to the kind of uh, pandering to the audience that they have to do? Will you be able to do that? And I get absolute crickets. For you to actually manifest everything that you desire, you have to have full faith in yourself. You have to have a lot of confidence that you des deserve. You actually have that self-worth noise coming from within telling you that, you know what, I am capable of achieving what I'm trying to manifest in my life. That is one of the most important and the most fundamental aspects that you cannot mess up on. You have to have full self-worth and self-belief in every piece of manifestation that you're trying to run after. The fifth and the biggest reason why people find it difficult to manifest wealth using, uh, despite putting extra effort towards manifesting wealth, using law of attraction is because 
they end up focusing on lack or scarcity or on the fact that they don't have something that they're trying to manifest. Now imagine this, when you're trying to focus on what you don't have, you're actually trying to complain, you're trying to compare, you're trying to stress over something, you're trying to overthink about why do you not have what you don't have or why have you not been able to manifest what you're not, what you're trying to manifest, you become restless, you become impatient, your overall state of mind is unhappy. As a result of which what is happening is you are actually vibrating and you're staying in a whole zone of negative energy. Your vibrations are absolutely negative. And then what happens? You don't manifest what you want. You manifest what you are. If you are in a negative energy field, if you are vibrating in a negative energy field, how are you going to uh, manifest or how are your positive law of attraction manifestations going to come true? Do you see the big indifference? You cannot focus on what you don't have. You only have to focus on having absolute faith and belief in the system, clarity of the goal that you're trying to manifest, have a clear roadmap of these are the five steps that you need to overcome or these are the five milestones that you need to overcome for you to achieve the goal that you're looking for at the end of the finishing line. Keep on executing and putting in the law of action and that is it. I have tried to condense it very nicely. I have tried to condense it in one statement. Please listen to this episode again and again. If you want it to get re-registered on your subconscious mind, it is a very powerful episode. This podcast is a byproduct of the system that I have just shared with you. When I started this podcast, I wasn't sure about the goal. I was, I did not have clarity on the end goal. I did not have I always felt that creating a podcast is going to be very difficult and it is not going to have a direct impact on my business. I did not know if the process is going, I deserve to be a podcaster who can give out information week after week, episode after episode. I was focusing on the lack of confidence. I was focusing on the lack of not having a system, a structure. Is my 34th episode the best episode that I'm going to create? Maybe not. I am going to keep improving. I am going to keep focusing. But have I added value to lives of people in the last 34 episodes? Absolutely. Have I improved from compared to episode 2, episode 3, episode 4? Tremendously. Without a doubt. But that does not mean that if you go and listen to episode number 2 or episode number 3, you're not going to get value. No, you may not find the overall structure to be the smooth. You may not find the information to come out as confidently as it is coming out now but it is still going to give you some value. And I would not have reached step number 34, episode number 34, without having gone through those step number two and episode number two and three. This is the way having the right belief in the system, clarity of your goal, having your roadmap set, putting in the effort, action and executing on that action helps you actually manifest your big end goal. The podcast helps me manifest my end goal. My YouTube videos help me manifest my end goal. Me doing masterclasses for my community helps me uh, get closer to my end goal. Me running uh, me giving out valuable information to my community on Profit Clan through emails and takes me one step closer to my end goal. Everything is a part of the system. You just have to figure out what part of the what part of the system is missing for you and what can you do about it and how do you plug those gaps. Let me very quickly consolidate and tell you the five points which are actually holding on to your manifestation and not being and not allowing you to manifest wealth into your life despite putting in so much effort is the fact that probably your thought process is negative or your lack of clarity of your end goals or you don't have faith or belief in the system or you just believe that whatever you're trying to manifest the entire process is supposed to be difficult. No, it is not supposed to be difficult at all. You're focusing on lack of what is not available, whatever you're trying to manifest. Lack of not having something or the scarcity mindset is definitely holding your manifestation journey very badly. And the fact that you have lack of self-worth, you don't believe that you actually deserve to manifest what you're trying to manifest. Think about these five points. Think about how they are impacting you. What kind of money blocks are actually coming up? What kind of thoughts are coming up? What kind of feelings are making you feel uneasy or restless when you try to think of the five points that I have mentioned. I can give you one go, one solution. Just one practice is going to help you impact all of these five problems and many more about your personal growth journey and that is gratitude. 
in the show notes or the description below the like button, you will find a link to episode number 16, which is five astonishing ways gratitude can boost law of attraction. It's a very powerful episode. I will very strongly recommend you to listen to that episode, especially considering that you've reached to this point of the episode where you've gotten some value, where you've been thinking about what can you change? What can you do about this? Gratitude is one particular exercise that has had a tremendous impact on my life and I cannot wait to share that episode with you. Please listen to that episode again. If you if you are somebody who's been following the Manifest with Paycheck to Profit journey and if you've heard the 16th episode, I would request you to listen to that episode all over again, especially now when you have more perspective on what kind of problems are you going to solve or what challenges are you trying to overcome using gratitude as a tool. Thank you so much for listening to this episode to this point. May I please request you to take a screenshot and share the screenshot of you listening to this episode or watching this episode on social media. Instagram being the most preferred application. Just take a screenshot, share that screenshot in your Instagram stories and do not forget to tag Pay2Pro and Mr. Emojical, which is my personal handle. I would also like to request you to follow Mr. Emojical and Paycheck to Profit on social media and ask me any question that comes to your mind with regards to law of attraction, manifestation, money blocks, money mindset. Just reach out to me on DM and I'll be more than happy to try and answer all your questions on DM. If you've been listening to this episode on a podcast application of your choice, you can watch all these episodes on Paycheck to Profit's YouTube channel. And if you are watching this episode on YouTube, please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and look for Paycheck to Profit, Manifest with Paycheck to Profit podcast on the podcast application of your choice. A very quick reminder, the Profit Clan is incomplete without you. Please go to paychecktoprofit.com slash Profit Clan. That is P-A-Y-C-H-E-C-K-T-O-P-R-O-F-I-T dot com slash P-R-O-F-I-T-C-L-A-N. Paychecktoprofit.com slash Profit Clan and become a member of the Profit Clan today. You have nothing to lose. It's absolutely free. Just join the clan today. And... Yes, thank you so much for giving me your time. Thank you for listening to the entire episode. I hope that it has given you a lot of value. Please, please, please stay connected with Manifest with Paycheck to Profit. Ask me your questions and I'll be more than happy to create more episodes and give you more value in future episodes to come. Until then, please take good care of yourself. Keep smiling, keep going, keep growing.